Hey everyone, Battlecrom here. We are back on the Maypole farm on this fine rainy October day. So I was looking over the farm here. I kind of wanted to get a lay of the land before we kick off the episode just to see what we have to get done in this episode. And well, we got grass bales on all of our fields, all of our grass fields that is, that uh, we need to bale into silage. Uh, we're going to end up selling most of that silage. Also, well, our wool production is actually, it's very well. And I was thinking about it since the last episode. I know I talked about building a dairy. I think building a spinnery or buying the spinnery on the map may be the better route to go here because wool production is doing much better than milk production right now. And we are producing, by my calculations, I think slightly more wool than we need to run that spinnery at full capacity. So, so this we can run a spinnery at full capacity. I think that may be the way to go on this one. Um, also, our fields need a little attention here. These grass fields, uh, because in November we'll be able to get our final cut of the season on them. Over the winter, I think I may actually cultivate and replant these grass fields. The reason I say that is because I believe the last time any of these fields were touched was with a plow. Uh, so we're not getting weeds on any of them, which means we can't get our weed control bonus for precision farming. And the trick I learned of tricking the system and giving that weed control bonus doesn't seem to work on the grass fields. You know, you go over, you spritz a little uh, herbicide on it and you get it. Well, that doesn't work on the grass fields. It does work on the crops like it would work on our wheat crop over there. But we don't need to use that trick on that because, well, we direct drilled that. There was no plowing involved. So it's going to it's going to get weeds anyway. It's actually going to need to be sprayed for weeds. Uh, so, yeah, I think to kick things off here, first thing we need to do is wrap them bales. The uh, sooner we wrap them is the sooner we'll be able to sell them. And the spinnery, I got a feeling I'm going to end up building that spinnery right here. I'll move this stuff out of the way. I'll sell that little structure. Uh, I did a little testing off camera on that. It fits actually quite nicely right here and it puts it right next to the uh, sheep barn. And later on I may actually sell these structures here and build the dairy right here. I know I talked about doing that kind of stuff over at Southfield but uh, we got plenty of storage over here that we're not even using for vehicles. So all the stuff we got stored in here can actually move over here and even down over there. Well, we got, we're kind of full there, but we got plenty of places to park our equipment right now. We actually don't need those structures, so I think I'm just going to get rid of them. That's where we'll put our, we'll put our spinnery there and our dairy there. Probably won't build the dairy this episode, though. Anyway, uh, let's get things going here. All right, let's go, uh... Park this mower here and we'll grab our bill collector. Where are we? We're on the cow field. Okay. We'll give the tractor a little spritz there, even though it's raining and that's probably going to clean most of the dirt off anyway, but just clean things up a little bit here before we park this mower. I think I heard somewhere that. Uh, if you keep your vehicles clean, it actually lowers your maintenance costs. I don't know if that's true or not, but I kind of like to keep them clean anyway. And if it saves me money, then all the better. Alright, so as we use things over there, uh, like the wrapper or any trailers or anything like that, we're just going to park them over here when we're done. That way, eventually we'll just get everything moved out of there and we won't have to worry about moving it when we go to sell those structures. Go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and clear off this hopper right here. I kind of want to sell those silage bills we already have made, and then uh, sell that structure over there. Move those things. I want to see if we have an, if we can get together enough money to buy a spinnery now. Spinnery is uh, sixty thousand, I believe. The sooner we get it built, 
the sooner we can start making wool. So I think uh, waiting isn't really going to help us. It's actually more beneficial for us to get it built right away if we can. Let's sell them silage bills we got over in the bunker right there. And see how much money we get from that and then we'll get an idea if we're actually going to be able to buy that spinnery before we uh, before we make the rest of the silos wheels up. We're going to end up selling most of them too. But let's see how far we can get with this. Oh, that wasn't even quite a full load there, was it? Well, let's go sell it and see what we get. That's pretty close. We need 60,000. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. We got those other silage bills by the cow barn, the big ones. I mean, we won't be able to move them with this. But I think we could take those bills and set. What this sell point is? Yeah, it'll buy them. I think it'll buy them. these silage bills right here like I said we won't be able to actually will this trailer move them it might move them but I think it won't move them if they're wrapped as silage right but if we unwrap them it might actually take them well there's only one way to find out we got to test it but let's turn this thing around if we're gonna do that I think if we unwrap them, this thing will just take them. There's only one way to find out. If so, this will give us the rest of the money we need. Okay, cut bill. Cut, cut. Alright, cut them all up. Let's see. I mean, if it won't take them, then we'll just... Oh yeah, it is taking them. I had a feeling it would. back up okay we got our silage bills there let's go see how much money we can get for these guys there we go we're over 60 we're gonna get a little money selling that structure over there too, so we should have plenty. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way over here. Got a couple trailers over here we gotta move. Then uh we could sell it. Let's leave that there for a second. Okay, so we need to sell that structure right there. Sell that. Okay. And is that it? No. There it is right there. Spinnery. I think like right there. Let's have a look. Yeah. 
Yeah, ooh, this is a little tight right here. That's all right. We're gonna end up moving that stuff out of there. So. Okay. Let's throw some wool in there, and we'll get that thing uh, working while we're working on other stuff. Okay, let's look in our production menu. All right, that's what we want. We want to produce wool fabric, so let's activate that. All right, so we've got 40, 4,800 liters in there right now. Uh, let's see, this guy runs 1,440 cycles per month. Uh, that's going to be two wool for every cycle. So 2,880 wool per month. So we got enough in there right now to get us through October and probably, I mean, most of November too, actually, because we're not, we're not getting the full day in October. So probably just... Sometime in November, we'll want to throw a couple more pallets in there just to get it through into the winter. The rest of the wool, though, we get in this episode, uh, we can just sell it. Uh, it looks like we're producing more wool than... I'm pretty sure we are producing more wool than this thing will take. All right, we'll let that thing work, and let's get back to work here now on our silage bales. Uh, might as well start on the south field, a little field, and then we'll work our way over to the big fields. Alright, let's do this thing.
right, well, hopefully we got them all. I know whenever it seems like I'm doing bail work in the dark, I always seem to miss one. Or two. <laughs> and, oh, who parked that tractor right there? All right, see you in the morning. Okay, let's see how we did over here. Do we miss any bales? I think we got them all. I wonder how we did. I mean, it felt like it was more bales than previous harvest. I feel like we got a pretty good yield on that. We need to grab our trailer and we'll gather up them bales. We'll probably have a better feel then of just how many we got. Yeah, we got to get these fields cleared off so uh, we can fertilize that grass before we uh, do our November cut. Alright, let's gather them up. Is a lot of silage bales right there. Let's see, we had five full stacks. That's 14 per stack. Oh, so was that 50, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8. Is that 80? 80 silage bales we get off them fields. That's gonna make us a lot of money. I don't know how much that's gonna be, but I'm sure it's gonna be over a hundred thousand because we're gonna be selling all those. Because in, 
In this episode of November, we're getting another cut off the field so we can get silage from there for our cows. And we just don't have that many cows. We're not eating that much silage right now, so we can just sell all of those. I wonder how far they are in fermentation. Thirty-nine percent fermented. I think we'll be able to sell them before we end this episode. So probably day two in November, we'll be able to run them down and sell them all. We'll see how much money we get out of them. This is going to be a profitable episode, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's go clear the egg hopper over here real quick. It's filling up fast now. These chickens are laying. Uh, we'll leave that one. It's not a very full pallet yet. Uh, huh. Why don't we drive back over here? We need to park this. We need to park this and then uh, we'll start doing some spraying here with the little light we got left here. Day 2 of October. And uh, then we'll finish spraying in November before we cut. I think that's a good plan. I mean, other than the front two stacks that got a little out of whack because of that one, uh, I'd say I backed them in there pretty good. Almost looked like I knew what I was doing. All right, let's grab our sprayer. Where do we park that thing at anyway? Must be on this side somewhere. Okay, so we need to unload the herbicide and then we need to put some uh, fertilizer in here. Let's drop that herbicide right there. I don't know how much we got right now. I feel like we bought enough that we thought we'd be able to do all this. 2,600 liters. That, that should be able to do all these grass fields, I think. Oh, we'll find out. Alright, well, we'll see how many... Oh, hold on. We have to... There we go. Unfold that guy. Turn it on. See how far we can get before it turns dark. I don't really like spraying in the dark, so we'll see how it goes.
All right, well, I don't like spraying in the dark, so we'll finish spraying that field in the morning, and then we'll start mowing. All right, before we get started and continue on, let's uh, have a look at a couple things here real quick. Check in on our animals. Chicken feed looks good. It's getting, we have to give them some more hay bales soon, but they look all right right now. This straw is getting pretty low. We might want to give them some straw. I think our TMR is doing fine because we don't have that many cows in there. Maybe we'll uh, blow a little straw in there real quick and then uh, we'll continue on. Can I hook at this angle? Come on, hook up. Yep, we got you. Okay. Might even have, yep, we do have some straw over here. I think this thing, I don't know, these are big straw bills. I feel like it only holds one, right? It might only hold one. Could be two. I forget. Let's have a look here. There we go. 8,000 liters of straw. <laughs> okay, I guess it only holds one. You gotta remember that. Straw, that looks a lot better now. Yep, we don't have to worry about that straw for a while. TMR looks good. 25,000 liters of milk. Yeah, I think we're good there. Alright, let's... Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and set up a GPS on this one. Set A. Set B. And guidance steering. There we go. I think we got it good now. Okay, let's go. We're going to go across the bottom here, though, all the way across like we normally would. Get in that corner. We got it.
All right, we're looking good right there. We got our nitrogen right. That was just about perfect. Look at that. We got 55 liters of fertilizer left. So we will need to buy a little bit of fertilizer before we uh, fertilize the wheat field. I don't think we'll be doing that this episode though because we got all winter long to take care of the pH and nitrogen on that one. Uh, right now I think we need to park this sprayer. I don't remember where we had to park. Let's, uh, let's just find a spot over here. Whoop, I think we went back too far there. That works. Okay. I think on the big field we should go back to uh, like we were doing. We'll do hay on the big field, silage on the other two. Uh, just to be cautious, yeah. Just to make sure because our, our sheep are, well, they're breeding pretty quick. So they're going to start eating a lot more hay. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's, uh, or if we should switch tractors for this job. Let's switch tractors here. Put the mower on the front. There we go. Let's go ahead and set up a GPS on this one. Cheddar. All right. Here we go. I think we're only going to be able to mow cow field here now. Let's uh, go ahead and park our 
tether though because we're not going to need that tomorrow. Tomorrow we're just cutting. Uh, we might have a worker. We'll probably maybe go around the outsides of the fields and have a worker come in behind us. Finish the cutting and uh, that way we have time to go and uh, make some errands and sell some stuff. Alright, let's hit the hay and we'll wrap it up in the morning. Okay, the most important thing is if we get these fields mowed uh, because we can always wrap them uh, in December. But we can't mow in December. We have to mow it now. So let's uh, go around the perimeter here. We'll set a worker on this and we'll work on uh, gathering up stuff to sell because I do know we need to start selling some things. Let's get a worker started right here and see how he does. Should do pretty good here, I think. Alright. Is that lined up alright? Oh yeah, that looks good. Looks like we got two pallets of wool over there now. That's good. Look at all that. Let's check and make sure it looks like we got enough to get us through November before we go selling it all. Where's uh, production? There we go. Fabric production 27. That's, I think it's enough, but it's a little tight. We should probably put a little more in there. Uh, let's see. Grab one of these. Maybe put two pallets in there, and then we'll sell the rest of it. That'll be enough to get us through, but it's going to be tight. By morning, we pretty much wouldn't have anything left in there, so. Alright, well, we'll start by loading up the eggs. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. This may be the most eggs we sold at one time yet. Okay, let's start loading up the wool now. Alright, let's strap it down. More eggs, but less wool. But that's okay, because we're turning that wool into fabric. Let's check on our worker real quick. Alright, he looks like he's... He's doing really well, actually. Let's head on to the Maypole Export and sell all this stuff. So I think what we'll do before we sell this, let's bounce over there real quick and check on the AI worker. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, it looks like he did really well actually. As far as I can tell, looks like he got everything. Okay, let's go with the south field. We'll circle the field there, and then we'll set the AI over there. Set him loose over there, uh, mowing that. All right, worker, take care of that field. Perfect. All right, let's go sell our stuff here. Take our straps off. Last time I went in pretty close to the building when I came in on this cell point and it did a lot better that way. I'll kind of hover here where the eggs are. Oh, I should have made a mental note of what we had before that. Let's see. Well, we should be able to figure out here because we haven't sold them bales yet here in November so wow we did pretty good that's 48 almost 49,000 
park this right here so we can start loading it up. Bring that guy down. Maybe back it up just a touch. Right there. Oh, let's see if these things are done. Uh, yeah, there's silage. Oh, yeah. Man, are we going to be raking it in. Look at all these silage bills. This is going to be crazy. 80 silage bills we're about to sell here. Okay, last load of bales. We're uh, we're up to two hundred and forty-one thousand now. Waiting. I think we'll just leave the uh, tractor parked in the driveway right here. Alright, I think our hard work definitely paid off in this episode. Let's uh, let's go and have a look here, see how we did. Alright, this episode covered October and November. We lost a little bit in October, but we also bought the spinnery then. Uh, we sold, we made about 38000 there though. Well, November, we definitely raked it in there. Let's see, yeah. So in November we made $227,449. $167,000 of it was from our bills. 
Then we sold 7,000 of wool. That 41,000 right there was from eggs. We must have had a high price on eggs because we really killed it. I know we sold more eggs this month than we had any other month, but that's good. 13,766, that was our environmental score bonus there, I believe. Wow, what a month. Yeah, our hard work definitely paid off in this episode. Uh, we just got to make sure we just don't blow it all on one tractor now. You know, that'll be really tempting just to go out there and buy ourselves a $240,000 tractor. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.